From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa recently chaired a Human Resources Development Council meeting at the Pick and Pay Regional Offices in Johannesburg, where it was revealed that Baker was the third scarcest occupation in the wholesale and retail industry in South Africa. Sashni Moodley has the story. Supermarket chain Pick and Pay recently hosted members of the Human Resources Development Council, or HRDC, for a closed session of the council meeting, where Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa and Higher Education and Training Minister Bladen Zamande were treated to a tour of Pick and Pay's confectionery baking processes and a meet and greet with bakers participating in the retailer's bakery training program. It was revealed on the tour that while Baker was listed as a trade and recognized as an artisan skill, it was the third scarcest skill in retail after retail manager and sales manager. Pick and Pay has partnered with a wholesale and retail theater to train and develop the skills of the retailer's employees. As an employer, we um, put money into the skills development fund in terms of the skills development levy, and then we work with the CETA in making sure that we can deliver training programs. The program that we're talking about here today is the bakery program and how we've developed. We started an in-house program and now how we've brought in a lot of under unemployed workers, now training them and upskilling them to become um, employees we will ultimately bring them in. And that's been done through joint funding between ourselves and a lot of funding that's coming from the CETA. We also use the CETA for quite a lot of our management development programs where we're training people at a, a higher level to fulfill management positions into the future through the, the leader, International Leadership Program and the number of other programs that we do are involved in. We are looking at bringing unemployed people, training them, giving them skills and helping them create a life for themselves. So for those people it's a big benefit. For us we've got a big skills shortage in bakery and other areas and it's helping us train people both for our stores and for the industry to help provide the skills that we need in the industry so that people in South Africa can get what they want in the supermarkets. The wholesale and retail sector contributes 12.5% of the country's gross domestic product and 3.1 million people worked in the industry. Over the last five years, Pick and Pay has invested about 42 million rands in training and the wholesale and retail CETA has invested about 14 million rand. This is a very valuable partnership because without uh, companies like it, like pick and pay, we can train young people. Uh, as you may be aware, uh, skills development is not about theory only, it's about practice. So when companies open their doors to young people who've never worked before, it's, it's a great uh, uh, contribution uh, to our country. So as a CETA, we, we value the partnership, it's not just uh, a money-based partnership, it's not about levies, but it's uh, the fact that uh, as, a, as a company they've embraced uh, skills development in, in our country and we, we learn a lot from them. The sector firstly is the third largest uh, contributor of, of the GDP. It's a, it's a, it's a growing uh, sector, a very competitive, and that's why as a CETA we must make sure that uh, we innovate, we come up with uh, programs which are able to train young people to get into the sector and become uh, competitors. I think retail is probably one of the, uh, I'm, and I'm going to guess, it's probably one of the only, only sector that uh, uh, brings all the the skills, your IT skills are required, your accounting skills, marketing, advertising. I think uh, this is the best uh, sector to be in. If a young person wants to learn any skill, it's all in the wholesale and retail uh, sector. I think the biggest uh, challenge that uh, the sector faces is to develop uh, small businesses uh, from informal uh, to, to formal because the more formal uh, small retailers we have, the better for our country because we'll be able to create more employment. Following the tour, Deputy President Sol Ramaphosa said council members were impressed with Pick and Pay's bakery program and applauded the company for exposing youngsters to a critical skill 
and for offering them employment opportunities. We were very impressed and we commend companies such as Pick and Pay, which are investing in developing the skills and capabilities of uh, our people in South Africa. And we commend companies that believe that the growth of our economy and the growth of our people must be seen in people before it's seen in sales volumes and share prices or measure of success. And this is important and we're pleased to we were pleased to hear that Pick and Pay is investing quite a lot of money and working with the CETA uh, to make sure that as many young people as possible do get training in this regard. Appreciating people for who they are and what they can contribute in a supportive and progressive work environment is what moves our economy and society forward. We all have a recipe before us in the form of the NDP, but the ingredients are sitting in different places. They are in government, in the private sector, and in our communities. And they also reside in the hopes of young people who are waiting to be trained, to be skilled, and to be developed. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.